When you play this wonderful game of snooker, it won't be long before you realise that if you keep leaving yourself difficult shots, you're going to miss. The real essence of the game is to position the cue ball in such a way that your next shot is as easy as you possibly can make it. To this end, the stun and the screw shot play a vital part. They cannot be overestimated. If you watch any game of snooker, you will soon realise that the stun and the screw shot play a vital role. Here I've set up a little practice routine where the object is to pop the red from the blue spot. I've placed a little mark on the table where I want the cue ball to be. I've set up the six colours horizontally across the table between the pink and the black spot. Here I pop the red and I play a cannon on each one of the six colours in turn. And I want you to realise that I'm not using any side at all. I'm striking the cue ball in the middle. The only variation being up or down on the cue ball. As I get to play a cannon on the pink and the black, I may have to increase the power a little bit just to make sure I get the cannon. So here, a little bit of preparation with my cueing and a quiet little stun shot to play a cannon on the yellow. The next one is the green and on this one all I do is come down a fraction on the cue ball, no more. I visualise the shot I'm going to play before I actually play it. A little bit of preparation and then play the shot. The next one is the brown, again a little bit fraction lower on the cue ball. At that time I've dug a little too deep. I've caught the blue instead of the brown. More practice needed. Try to learn from your mistakes. So this time I come up on the cue ball a fraction Make sure I get the cannon on the brown. The next one is the blue. If I can remember the previous shot, I should be successful with this. Quite happy with that one. Now this one on the pink, and don't forget to short your cue now, we're getting to almost screw shots as opposed to stun. So a little bit deeper on the white. Visualise the shot before you play it. A little bit of practice to get a feeling for it, and then play the shot. And lastly, the next shot is on the black. Again, visualise it, chalk your cue, a little bit of preparation before you actually play the shot and then go through. On the channel I'm getting a, a, quite a few questions about how to develop the stun and screw shots. The truth is that it comes down to practice, good cueing, timing and practice. I can't teach you how to stun a ball six inches or nine inches or a foot. Only practice will teach you that. Um, I'm often asked, where do I hit the white ball? Well, it's a question of feel. Uh, I will feel the shot better than a beginner. Ronnie O'Sullivan will feel the shot better than I do. So we will probably hit the ball a little bit different positions and certainly a little bit better. Ronnie will hit the ball better than me, I will hit the ball better than a beginner. That's how it works. Now let me just try to emphasize that when we do all these practices, no matter what it is, don't concentrate on one side of the table. It's very important to practice these things from both sides of the table. Otherwise you develop a preference for one side. 
please, don't let that happen. And the next thing, don't get obsessed with side. Side complicates the issue. Not only for you as a beginner, not only for me, but for Ronnie, for Stephen, for Neil Robertson, for all of them. Yes, they can use side, but they use it sparingly. Don't get obsessed with it. If you want to play a stun shot, all you need to do is come up or down on that cue ball centrally. Okay, good luck with your practice.